Hello, this is Jess from Presets and Actions by Jessica G Photography. And today I'm going to be showing a step-by-step -step on how to edit this image. So here we have the um, straight out of camera and this is after using the preset. So um, I'm going to do a reset just so you can see the tweaks that I, uh, I did. So. I used a preset number eight and just a very um, easy tweak here on the color panel on the hue and I'm gonna um, adjust the reds and the orange and that's mainly for just uh, adjusting skin tones. Um, I usually do like a little bit of um, highlights but we can also like bring them down a tiny bit. And then if you like shadows, you can just like adjust here the shadows. And one of my favorite things about Lightroom is that after you do your tweaks, then you can just um, synchronize that with other images and it saves a lot of time. And I might adjust to the orange a little bit here, just a tiny bit. So there you can see it before and after. And after this, I'm going to go to Photoshop. And I usually export in a Photoshop file just so I can save as I go. Okay. And the first thing, okay, I'm not sure why that was uh, said like that, but uh, first thing here is probably crop. Um, I don't really need to crop a lot here, so I'm not going to worry too much. I'm just going to kind of bring it down a little bit here, a little less backdrop. And I'm going to use the clone, either the clone or the patch tool. Probably going to use the patch tool a bit quicker for that section there. Just gonna use the cloning just to kinda make it a little bit more real. <laughs> and um, I don't even know if I mentioned this, but I will add the links to what I'm using, but uh, the preset was from my Little Fox preset collection, and it was number eight. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And here I'm just doing a tiny little bit of liquefying for the wrap. And for the skin tone, um, my go -to, one of my go-tos is sugar for sort of fair to medium uh, skin tones. And then uh, if it's a darkened skin tone, then I like using uh, baby butter almond. Okay, so now I'm going to use the brush tool. Just make sure that it's set to the color of white and your opacity is set to 100. And then we brush. So the baby butter actions are kind of the all in one. And if you want to kind of in this area here, if you don't want to take out so much texture, uh, one thing I am going to do is reduce the opacity on the, com the layer mask. But if you don't want to do that, then you just um, decrease the brush opacity. Sometimes I go down to like maybe 50%. It's up here. And for these areas, I like to use 50% as well. And the eyes. So just a quick before and after there. And I'm going to go with maybe 90%. And then I might do that um, 
kind of bring a little texture here on the hairline. And I also have the texture scrub that we can brush over just to kind of bring a little bit of texture back. So just a quick before and after. Then I'm gonna use the no reds layer here. So I do get a lot of questions about the difference between the baby butter and finishing touch. Um, and they are uh, quite different in the sense that baby butter is more to save a lot of time editing. So that will be one of the main differences. And it's mainly skin retouching for the baby butter. I'm going to do rosy cheeks. Whereas finishing touch, it does have... Um, more variety in what's included. So, for example, oh, <laughs> um, you could use, um, I always use wood floor for my wood flooring. And that is like a haze for the background to, kind of, to bring the focus to the baby. I'm gonna use 30% on that. And I'm going to do a little bit here on the forehead. I think I went lowered the opacity too much. So I'm going to use uh, the balm, baby butter balm. So you can see there before and after. I might reduce the opacity a tiny bit. And after that, I'm gonna do skin tone you pick from the finishing touch. And just pretty much brush everywhere except the cheeks. And I'm gonna bring the opacity down to maybe 10%. And I like to use definition too from finishing touch. You see like it adds like that contrast. I'm gonna do 20%. And fix those highlights just for this area here. And we're pretty much done. Um, then the other cool thing about uh, finishing touch is that you can add like, you know, whatever editing style that you like. Like if you like the more matte tones, then I like rustic feels. It kind of adds that matte finish to to the image. So if that's your style, you can add that to your editing workflow. My cape there it actually looks really good with the rustic. And yeah, let's just do a quick here before and after. Um, you can also use warm tones if you want like more yellow tones added to the image. Uh, colorful if you like a lot of color. Um, there's also like uh, background hazes, texture. You can do a color change. Um, this is probably not the best example image for a color change, but I have been getting um, questions about it so I might do like a separate video for that. And yeah, uh, please join my Facebook group uh, if you have any other questions or if you see want to want to see more videos. I will leave the links below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.